Here is a video tutorial on solving systems of equations using graphing. We will not use elimination, we will not use substitution, we will strictly solve these via graphing and we'll see where the intersection point is which signifies the solution x comma y. So here we have two linear equations. We have y equals 2x plus 6. That one's perfect just as it stands because we have a y-intercept 6 and we have a slope of 2 which is 2 over 1. However, the second linear equation that makes up this system is in standard form, ax plus by equals c. We have to get this in y equals mx plus b slope-intercept form. If not, it's just too difficult to graph. We must get it solved for y in y equals mx plus b. Well, since we're pretty good at this, we know how to solve for y. Once you do so, you end up with y equals negative 1x minus 3. So again, here's our system. Both equations are in slope-intercept. We have y equals 2x plus 6 and y equals negative 1x minus 3. First, we'll start by graphing the top equation, y equals 2x plus 6. Remember, 6 is our y-intercept, 2 is our slope. First, we plot the y-intercept. This is 6 right here on the y-axis, and a slope of 2 means rise 2 to the right 1 or you could have gone down to left one. Either way you can see it's following the same path. This right here is the line y equals 2x plus 6. Secondly, we need to graph this one here, y equals negative 1x minus 3. Negative 3 is your y-intercept. So let's go back to our y-axis. Here's the origin. Now we need to go down three units. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. There is our y-intercept. And a slope of negative 1 means down 1, right 1. So there we have it, down 1, right 1. Or you could have went up 1, left 1. You see either way you're following the same slope. You can see that I extended my lines nice and long. And there is a clear intersection point. And if you look very closely, the intersection point here is at negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So when x is negative 3, y is 0. So that is our intersection negative 3 comma 0 negative 3 comma 0 again this is in the form x comma y so you can see that our x coordinate is negative 3 and our y coordinate is 0 that is the unique solution to this problem also it would be very helpful to check our answer we can plug these values in to see if we get a true statement remember x is negative 3 y is 0 we can go back to either of our original equations. I'll start with the top one here. Remember, y now we found is 0 equals, we have 2 times x, but we just found x is negative 3. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 plus our original 6. Well, is that a true statement? Is 0 equal to negative 6 plus 6? Sure, because when you solve, you get 0 equals 0. It's a true statement, therefore we have the correct solution to our system. Again, quick little recap. When you're solving systems via graphing, make sure they're both in y equals mx plus b. Graph them out using graph paper and straight edge as best as you can. And then find the intersection point. Once you have it, you can plug it back into the beginning and make sure it's a true situation. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed.